Hey gang, this is the Fruit Fly Lab Cast, or I should say Labs Cast, because we're going to talk through two Fruit Fly Labs. The first part is the Fruit Fly Exploration. You'll see a copy of the document here. Now, you don't necessarily have to use this, you can draw it on a piece of paper. Uh, but what you're going to do is you're going to determine the sex of fruit flies. So, we're going to, uh, at, in the second lab, find out whether a trait is uh, autosomal or sex linked but in order to do that we need to be able to identify male versus female flies so you're gonna have some flies and you're gonna look at them under the microscope and as you read the background information right under you can draw your picture here now on to the uh, experiment the fruit fly lab so what we're trying to figure out is whether having wings is or not having wings is an autosomal trait or a sex link trait and what's interesting here is and bear with me is that um, if we look at the lab itself you're gonna actually write a partial lab report and there's some information about the about the, the flies and the trait and what you're gonna do is you are going to make predictions you're going to make, predict uh, what percent of the flies will have wings or not have wings if it's an autosomal trait and then you're going to do the same thing for a sex link trait and then uh, you are going to uh, actually collect some data and you're going to put in the number of uh, wild type or normal uh, males, normal females uh, wingless males and wingless females and you're going to submit that uh, to a Google form. But here's the catch. So because it's going to take a while to set up the flies and get the data, what we're going to do is you're going to actually use last year's data for your lab report. Um, so instead of waiting around for everyone to count flies, I'm going to actually give you last year's data and you can see here on the assignment sheet in the uh, chromosomes of sex link uh, learning cycle. And we go down under the fruit fly lab, you see data. You're going to use this data to make your conclusions. So I have a spreadsheet with last year's data. So you're going to use that data to write your lab report. However, you, since you're using last year's data, the students next year are going to need this year's data. And that's why you're filling out this form. So what are you going to need for these labs? First, you need the flies, and what you're going to do is you're going to use the uh, dissecting scope. And you can take a little white card and put it on the microscope, and then you're going to put the flies on the card. And when you're moving the, f the flies, you're going to use this little brush uh, to move them over. And you're going to, you know, cut on the lights of the microscope and focus it exactly to the right level to look at the flies under the microscope. Now, when figuring out whether it's male or female, I would strongly suggest you move the fly on its side so that you can take the, to, so you can look at the sex combs and see if they're there on the, on the front limbs. The other thing I would say uh, is for the exploration, not only do you have to take a picture or draw the picture of the fly, but I want to see everyone's work under the microscope. So I want to check if you're focusing correctly, are you correctly identifying the flies as male or female. So I need to see at least one male and one female from you, not your group, but from you individually under the microscope. So you should be able to work on your fruit fly lab um, before you even collect data collect this year's data because you're using last year's spreadsheet. And so when you're doing your lab report, you're actually going to do the background, the results, and the first paragraph of the discussion. So you need to go to the lab report page to get more information about uh, what I expect in those labs. And uh, you can use you know, some of these tables if you need to, that, that's fine. Just make sure you provide acknowledgments. So, you know, you can make a copy of this document and then, you know, put it in your, your lab report. But beware, these are not the only things that are going in the lab report. Um, so make sure you're reading the, the directions 
Um, so you notice I don't have any graphs here, so you want to make sure that's in there. Um, so, uh, in a nutshell, that is the fruit fly lab cast. Thank you.